going to continue on the tape that I just uh, put up. Um, it's, uh, I just put it up. So anyway, I can't get it all the background to, um, or I run out of tape. Anyway, I'm coming across the state line in 86. I don't know how many times, back and forth, back and forth, and uh, trying to find my kids, trying to have a place to light, telling people about my kidnapping. I didn't find out about it until late 83, who my parents are, and it wasn't the book, wasn't the reason all this happened. It's who I am. And um, I had, I don't remember where, uh, Kingsport, I believe, Tennessee coming over into Virginia, I went in, I believe that's where it was, to one of the uh, sheriff's departments. I remember the detective's name was Fox, or it was the sheriff's name was Fox. But anyway, he took me back there. It wasn't the sheriff. He was there, but he took me back there, the detective, and said the FBI come in ahead of me, and um, they tell them that if they try to help me, that they'll put their offices under investigation, and they will find something. And that's true, because here in Benton, Virginia, they've done that. That doesn't give law enforcement the right to help torture me and break laws against me. And um, to get into mind control and all this that I was telling about, my God, uh, that's criminal to program people. I want to say this, too. I live down here on Mountain Pass, and that's where I'm at now, almost in Troutville, again, outside Roanoke off Mountain Pass Road, and that's where the old Appalachian Trail went up to Full Heart Knob, and I did all that area up in there, which is bear infested and, and snake, and you name it, uh, even a ma uh, rabid uh, raccoon came up to my tent one night, and um, I can't tell all that, but this is kind of life that I've lived, begging and pleading with people knowing it, and now I'm going to oh, there was, I'm naming names because, and boy, does everybody want me dead, but they wanted me dead before I'm fighting to stay alive right now and hoping to find my kids and hoping to get to go home to England, all right? Uh, but I went to, um, okay, I, I won't say this, John Edwards, I don't know if they can or not, he's a Virginia uh, state senator, and I thought he was a friend. He knows all about my kidnapping. He knows it all. I've been in his office downtown Roanoke here, and uh, right next door is uh, Goodlatte, Bob Goodlatte, who was over the agriculture, and that's over the uh, rangers that oversee the forestry and all that. So it you talk about a conspiracy. When Dr. Phil says he doesn't necessarily believe in conspiracies, um, well, you know what they do with it. Well, this person's nuts. There's no such thing. Well, there wasn't an Area 51, and now there's an Area 51 in um, Australia, which is uh, British. As they've taken out everything British. So there you go. But anyway, I want to get back to Goodlatte. He's now over the Intelligence Committee. He chairs it. And I want to get this. I was talking about my illness. I'm allergic to chemicals. And I have been force-fed, and I put background on all the other video I just put up. But I was staying at one of the, um, for 14, I stayed 14 months, I believe, yeah. It was owned by Germans. It was Quality Inn here on Third Lane Road off Peters Creek. And uh, as long as they owned it, it was run by a holding company. But... Um, I managed to live, and it was pretty nice, but they sold it in the Patels and Shaws, and this is where I'm at now, the people from India, who I had nothing, I liked them, but boy, do you get another view of it when I'm standing there in 95, not far from where I am now, it's been torn down, it was budget in, in uh, November of 95, and one of the Patels run it. And he told me he come in and started renovating, going to renovate my room. And I said, I told you, and this is November and it's cold up here. I said, I told you I'm allergic to chemicals. I have an immune disorder. Well, he didn't care. So I called the cops. And the cop came to pretend, well, I don't know, they have uh, arrested me for nothing, for begging and pleading to have a civil right. 
And uh, the cop said, uh, you know, we'll arrest you. It's you that will have to leave. I said, do I get any of my money? I paid a month. So this has happened repeatedly to where I pay by the week, and sometimes I can't even stay the week. Before I'm run out, I'm so sick. Where do I head? Out to the forest, which I can't go now. And they come out there and run me. And, yes, this is true, and I can name names right down. But anyway, I wanted to get back to this. These are the people that Bob Goodlatte and um, uh, let's see who's mentioned here. Uh, they're talking about um, Ed, John Edwards, Senator John Edwards, Mark uh, Warner, you name them here. Tim McCain, Senator Tim McCain, he was the governor. They're all here celebrating the wealth of the Shaws and the Patels. They didn't have anything, it's my understanding, when they came here. So you want to know where all the money came from? The FBI got things on. Well, that's what he said, Patel said. He said, uh, after the cop left, this is 95, and he's going to renovate. Uh, he says, we're Americans now. We have to do what they tell us to do. I want to go back to Carl Barton. It took me, his wife took me to um, uh, Affordable Suites in '09. Uh, she said to me, his wife did when she left me there, she said, we're Americans, we're above the law. Well, I hope, I wish the world, while I'm still alive, would get to see this. So if this is sounding uh, like I'm jumping back and forth, I wanted to get this in, though. The FBI are the ones that did it. Uh, when I got the letter about the book and mind control, and, I, you know, I was down at their office off and on for a while there before all that happened, the antifreeze, et cetera. So mind control murders were done in patterns, and I was trying to get people to listen to it, the Wayne Williams, in which the list, uh, the book by Chet Detlinger about that, uh, was written during that time. That's where they first used the profilers, and they come into Atlanta, and that's when I had the antifreeze put in me. But I wanted to get to this. The murders have been continued and they can be proven. Mind control is invisible. But uh, Alexis Murphy, which was, she was kidnapped, and they say murdered. They haven't found a body, but this is a mind control murder. So the man they've got in prison, uh, Randy Taylor, if he did it, whoever did the killing was programmed. He's a victim. Cosby's wife is saying that uh, who's the victim? Well, in mind control, it's the person doing the programming. All they're doing in mind control, like this uh, Nichols, uh, no, his name is Matthews, uh, here. He's being held uh, responsible for the Morgan Harrington murder. And by the way, uh, that was right after one of the murders that happened after I was taken to affordable corporate suites. Um, but... Uh, the British uh, young girl, Hannah Graham, she went to the University of Virginia next door to me here, uh, Virginia Tech. On the other side, I met Blacksburg, where the 33 mass murders were done April the 16th of 07. You get into a whole bunch of them. It's mind control. Who's doing it? You can mass armies with mind control now. But anyway, uh, Morgan Harrington, and I am sorry for all these people. My God, I've been fighting for my life and telling all these people about it. She was killed, and um, her father, by the way, is a psychiatrist, very prominent here in Blacksburg at the Virginia Tech, and Carillion here. Uh, but anyway, Hannah Graham was killed, and that's recently, and they found her body. She's English. And uh, you can prove these murders. I, I, anyway, that's part of what I've been telling, but there's lists and lists, and there's celebrities that uh, it's been done in, and, yeah, you can prove it. The thing I was trying to tell, though, is it's made me so sick. I don't know how I can live. Uh, I'm going to have to leave here, and when I leave, I have to get a cab to nowhere or get on a bus, which I used to do, and end up having to come back. Uh, so I end up going to the Appalachian Trail, and they come out there after me, and uh, I, uh, you can get it. And I'm old. I can hardly move from what they've done to me, and they're doing it to me here. You think if you say they're coming in and renovating, 
uh, well, the, the natural thing is, well, that happens. No, this has been planned. It's been planned by the people I just told you, the Patels. Uh, if I try to leave, in good Latin, it goes on that high up. So, no, it, it was planned before I came here, let me clear you. And uh, they should be arrested for...